Hey guys, this is Mitch with Fine Point CGI, and today I'm going to talk about how to compile Godot from source. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, compiling Godot from source allows you to make modifications to the game engine itself, and it allows you to go ahead and check out what some of the new features that are going to be coming in the new versions of Godot. For instance, in this case, we'll be compiling Godot 4.0. So we'll be able to take a look at the new Vulkan renderer and the new Skybox system and things like that. And, you know, we get to go ahead and, and, and check it all out before it gets released. So that way we can make decisions on if we want to upgrade to the newest version of Godot with our games. So that's what I have in store for you. And we'll go ahead and get started. All right. So I am sitting here at the Godot game engine GitHub here. And you can do one of two things if you want to start compiling your uh, Godot game engine. What you can do is you can either click the, co the code button and then download a zip, or you can go ahead and use Git, uh, Git to go ahead and clone this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that route. If you don't have Git, you can pull it down by opening up a a link to Google and then going to get and it's G I T not a G E T and then go ahead and just download it and install it from there. Now, once you do that, you can go ahead and now, once you do that, you can go ahead and uh, open up your windows prompt your windows start menu and hit get bash and what will happen is it'll pull up this little box here we're going to go cd documents and then get and then what we're going to do is we will do get clone and then we already since we copied this right so we copied this so we're going to go ahead and paste that and then you will see it's going to go ahead and pull all this down. So let's go ahead and let it do that. Okay, so now that it is downloaded, you'll see here that it's done. We can actually go and navigate, and here's my navigation, to that uh, project. So you can see here, this is the actual source code of Godot. So if we type in CMD up here, and then that'll bring up a command prompt. And I'm going to go ahead and do code dot, which will open up. Visual Studio Code. Let's go ahead and maximize this to what you guys can see. Again, I have a ultra wide screen, so I don't record with the entire screen. But you can see here, you can actually look at all the different parts of Godot. So if I wanted to look at how like the bullet physics engine operated, I could actually look at this and read a lot of that C++ that puts this all together. Which is very exciting. So now what we need to do is we need to compile Godot. So Godot uses this thing called scons to build. And I will bring up a web browser to kind of show that off real quick. Scons is a software construction tool. So why would you know what is it and, and what makes it good? Well, it's an older uh, system, from what I understand, granted, my knowledge of this is, is limited. So if anybody wants to correct me in the uh, description, you know, if anybody wants to correct me in the comments, they're welcome to. But from what I understand, SCONS is a software construction tool that basically compiles and cross compiles a bunch of different um, a bunch of different platforms, including mobile, web, consoles, things like that. It allows you to compile a bunch of different platforms at the same time. And it uh, is extremely robust and extremely uh, easy to use. So first, what we need to do is we need to download it. So let's click on the downloads button over here and then click on SCONS download. And you're gonna see that this will start shortly and we will save. So once it's done downloading, go ahead and extract it. And I already have it extracted here. What we're going to do is we will copy control C all of this. 
and then we will go ahead and go to our do documents github godot and then we will go ahead and paste that all right so now we're gonna do cmd again and that'll bring up a command prompt here and then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we will type in s-c-o-n-s -S. and depending on what platform you want if you just type plat form equals list you'll notice that it says you do not have python in your path well, what does that mean well it means that you probably don't have python installed so let's see what that does you can see here when i type python microsoft store says hey yo you don't have python installed so let's go ahead and do that So we're going to Google search for Python. We're going to click on here. We'll go to downloads and we will download for windows. All right. So once you have it downloaded, we'll go ahead and open up our downloads folder and you'll see here that I have Python. So we'll double click on that and you will see there's install Python. Make sure you click on this section here, add Python 3.9 to path. If you don't do that, this won't work and then install it. All right, now that it is installed, we'll go ahead and close it, and then we'll reopen our command prompt that we had earlier. And if I, well, this isn't the right one. I have multiple command prompts open. All right, so if I go ahead and type in Python, you'll notice once again, it doesn't do anything. Now, why is that? Well, the reason why is because you need to reopen your command prompt for Windows to, to redetect your python path so if we go in here we do the same thing open up command prompt and we type in python you'll notice that now it says we have python 3.91 and do copyright and whatnot so if we type exit or control z it looks like i guess control z doesn't work things lying to me all right, so now if we type S-C-O-N-S platform equal list, what that's gonna do is it's gonna read the files so that you can see which following platforms are available. Now you can see in my case, Windows is available because I'm running Windows. So what we'll do is we'll just type S-C-O-N-S, enter. And now it's gonna go ahead and compile Godot. Now, this is gonna take a very long time. If I remember correctly, when I was doing it, it took around 30 minutes for me to compile Godot on my laptop. Now this is my desktop, so it'll probably be a little bit quicker, but just note that it's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and pause the video here and I'll jump to when it's completed because it's gonna take a minute. Okay, you'll see after about 30 minutes, you'll see that this has compiled. Now, if you are still having issues with compiling, like you're getting compiling errors saying that uh, these link libraries are not available. For instance, I got that earlier up here and I'll show you uh, right here. Third party Vulcan loader error, um, you know, this factory's undeclared identifier. What you need to do is you need to download Visual Studio and execute the installer. So if you just open up a new tab, type Visual Studio, and we go to the Microsoft one, and you just go ahead and download Visual Studio Community, you'll see it'll pop up. Double click on the installer and it will pop up with the Visual Studio installer here and you can go ahead and just install the community edition now when you do that and you install the community edition make sure and if i go into modify here or if you have visual studio installed make sure that you click on your modify and when it comes up with this screen up here where it tells you to pick your components make sure you pick desktop development with c plus plus and then scroll down and get um, I got mobile development with C++ just because I wanted it 
and game development with C++. These will have all of the libraries that you have to have to compile Godot. So just make sure you at least pull down game development and desktop development. But I did uh, uh, mobile development just because I felt like it would be useful. So once you have it compiled, you'll have this bin folder here. So we'll double click on that and you'll see that there's a Godot Tools 64. That is actually Godot. So if we double click on that, you will see as soon as it loads that Godot 4.0 is now on your machine. So you can go ahead and, and uh, create a new project. Let's call it demo. Proj, and we will create that folder, create an edit. And I'm gonna resize real quick because like I said, I record on a 2K ultra wide. So it's a little on the larger side for you guys, but so now you'll see here is Godot. Very exciting. Um, so here you can start investigating all the cool new features that Godot you know, offers. Things like the new Vulkan rendering engine, you know, subsurface. I believe it has volumetric fogs. Um, it has a new SSAO system. I mean, a lot of 3D stuff. So, um, and I've been paying more attention to the 3D stuff than the 2D stuff. But, you know, if we click on the uh, node 3D and we add a child node and type in mesh, we can add in a mesh instance here and we will make it into a plane here. And then we can scale this up and you'll see that it's all really dark in here. And the reason why is because now with the way that Godot operates is you need an environment. So we'll add in a world environment and we will add in an actual environment itself. And you'll see now suddenly it becomes gray and we'll add a camera effect as well. This is another new feature inside of Godot, which is very exciting. Now, if we right click this node 3D, add in a mesh, it's going to say a box mesh and then add in a box mesh. We'll pull this up and then we're going to right click and add in a light as well. Now, again, these are all things that you can just kind of play around with as you run through Godot, but I'm just going to show you just a very basic, you know, lit scene, something simple so that you can kind of see, you know, the cool things that Godot can do, or at least the cool things that the new Godot can do, I should say. So if I put this somewhere like that, See, it's kind of like more of like a mid-afternoon kind of time frame. And if I go to the world environment, you can actually come in here and add in stuff like ambient occlusion, ambient light. So you can actually add in some ambient light to this. At least allegedly. It looks like you can't right now, or at least I don't quite know how. So I'm going to need to investigate it. Oh, I see. So you have to do ambient light like a sky. Oh, okay. That makes some sense. Okay. Um, and you could do stuff like, you know, reflected light and have light being reflected from the sky or from the background. You can adjust your tonal map to be like ACES or Filmetic. Filmetic is supposedly a more accurate version of a lighting system. Auto exposure. So auto exposure will make it more like, you know, if you're in a dark area versus the light area, what the exposure is going to look like. So they've really done a lot when it comes to, whoa. Looks like this one's broken. Um, so I'll have to look at that later. But adding in things like SSAO, so you can see where um, SSAO would add in some... Let's see if I up the intensity. I wonder if it's the ambient light causing the issues. Yeah. Um, so you can add in stuff like little AO coming because it's because it's you know grounded to the ground. So you can see how it's got that little darkness added to help ground it to reality. And you can do stuff like SDFGI, which is kind of like a new GI, or I think it's an older GI system. I'd have to read more about, about, you know, some of the new things in Godot, but they've done a lot of really cool, you know, like volumetric fog and stuff like that to help with making things. Ooh, 
just chugging my machine though but it's to help make things look nicer and then i could do stuff like depth of field blur so you can see depth of field which makes things just look in general you know more realistic if you're into that kind of thing you know if you're into depth of field so that's really exciting um you know so that's how you can see some of the new you know fancy things that godot has is by downloading and compiling this yourself now i do plan on doing about once a month kind of a, a month in review of where godot 4.0 is um since the last you know previous month so go ahead and look forward to that but so that's all i have for you guys today we talked about downloading visual studio we talked about compiling c plus plus a little bit we talk about using s cons building tool using um get to pull down the new well, it's not really new, but the, the Godot repository, we talked about compiling it and installing all those different things. And finally, I showed you the final product, which is the Godot 4.0 game engine with Vulkan. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that dislike button. And if you dislike this video, go, go ahead and hit that dislike button because I'm here to make content for you guys. If you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and throw them in the comments below. Um, and I'll be more than happy to get back to you guys. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks.